Hey folks, Rob here, and we got a busy day today. Yeah, today is the day we're going to get our mini split up and going, hopefully. So, I had a nephew who was going to come and vacuum out my my system for me. He works in HVAC, but he works full time. They just had a grandbaby, so you know, uh, I went ahead and ordered this from Amazon. Now this is the back. Back, Baco engine, Baco in. I don't know how you pronounce that, but this is a vacuum pump and manifold gauge set. It uh, came in this nice tool bag, and basically it came with your your three lines, high, low pressure, and your vacuum line. Uh, came with your instructions for your manifold set with the manifold itself so you have your manifold there uh, nice uh, nice setup came with the uh, instruction operating manual for the pump itself and then you got the this is a 3.6 cubic uh, feet uh, vacuum pump it uh, quarter horsepower, so in order to vacuum us down, it come with your hanger for your manifold and your different fittings that you might need. Uh, tank taps. Uh, this will do several different types of refrigerant. It also came with the oil to fill up your pump. So and the bag itself. Now I did order these, uh, these are uh, 5 16 to quarter inch adapters, just in the event that we need those to go to our mini split. So I don't know if this has the exact ad ad adapter needs or not, but uh, we're going to get this set up. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this oil in it. We're going to put in our oil. And... It's windy here today, guys. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me or not. This does have a big sight glass on the end, so it should be very easy to to uh, to uh, see when it's full. Got my little knife here that Bill sent us over. I don't know why I put that lid back on there. Open this up, and we're going to pour this into our pump. And I would think it would pretty much take the whole bottle, but we're going to check it here in a minute. We got a beautiful day here in Kentucky. clear you can't hardly see the oil all right that doesn't fill us all the way to the max but it's uh, about halfway a little over halfway uh, so probably right about where it needs to be just slightly over halfway full it's well above the minimum amount of oil you need so, we're good there. Now I gotta get my, I'll have to get my cord out and get a set up for this. We'll put our manifold gauge uh, set together and get ready to start pulling vacuum on our mini split. We'll come back when we get to that. All right guys, we have our pump hooked to our center of our manifold gauge. We have both of these are off. So both of our sides are off. Now, and I've taken a pair of pliers and just tightened these up just hand tight. I've tightened all my connections. And this kit did have the adapter, so I didn't have to order the extra adapter. It was in with this kit. So if you get this kit, it comes with three different adapters. And uh, one of them fit there just perfect. So 
uh, we're ready to start pulling vacuum. So, uh, like I said, I've got our pump here. Our, we're hooked up here. We're off here, so we're going to start our vacuum pump first and try it. So, we're just going to flip on our switch. And we're going to let that run a minute. And then we're going to start opening this valve and let it start pulling down. And it has pulled down a vacuum really quick. We're at, we're bottomed out right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this run. I'm going to let this run about an hour to pull a super deep vacuum on this. I want to make sure we have no leaks. So we're going to let this run about an hour. And then we'll come back and shut the pump off. And we're going to let it set another two, three hours while I do some other projects. And uh, make sure it holds vacuum. If it holds vacuum, that means we have no leaks. So we'll get back with you after a while. Guys, one thing I got to say about this pump. It's been running two or three minutes. That thing is super quiet. That is like the quietest vacuum pump I believe I've ever heard. Now we got our, our connections made here. Now you might say, okay, Rob, why'd you buy that? Well, I give $98 for this. We had a coupon on this regular 119. It had a, a coupon for, uh, got it for 98 bucks. Okay. And uh, my daughter has bought a mini split unit for her bedroom, which was added on to her trailer. And it has no heat or air in it. She uses a freestanding AC, which doesn't keep it cool. And she has no heat in it. So we're going to install one in her bedroom. So there's a second unit I can use this on. And my sister, whose husband Lyndon died recently, uh, is also doing a tiny house. And she's putting in a mini split. So there's three units that I will be able to use this for. So if you break it down over the number of units I'll use it, it's like 33 bucks a piece. You know, I wouldn't bother somebody to come out here and do this and not cost 33 bucks it would cost much much more you know even if my family done it i'd give them more than that for coming out to do it so but with the busy schedules i thought this is the best way to go so that's the reason i bought this we're going to be using it more than once a little update our pump's been running about 30 minutes it's hot but it's not so hot you can't touch it I was just a little concerned about it overheating there, but uh, it's it's doing good. I think it'll run an hour and no problem. My vacuum is still we're sucked down just below the, the 30. I can see a little bit of it on that side. So we're we've got a good vacuum going on. Well guys, I got some of my chores done. Uh, my daughter bought a wireless camera system and I uh, worked on it the other night till dark. And then I had to work yesterday, so. But I've been going around and pulling down all the cameras again because I've got them mounted up and uh, syncing them and getting them to where she can view it on her app. So, got that finished up this morning, sitting here in the shade, uh, vacuuming down my mini split. So, uh, when we get that ready to take off the vacuum, we'll we'll uh, come back. So. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, we've been running an hour. My timer just went off. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to shut off our uh, low-pressure side here. And what that's going to do is that's going to hold that pressure in there. And then we're going to turn off the pump. Now this pump ran an hour. No problem. It's hot, but it's not... It's not terrible hot. I mean, you wouldn't want to pick it up and play with it, but it's it's not terribly hot. Now, we're going to mark our... We are just about perfectly at the top of the one. I'll bring you over here and show you so you can help me watch it. Because... 
have to do this together. So right, we are looking at right about, depends on where you look, but about the top of the one, maybe slightly past. So anyway, we're going to watch that. I'll probably just let that sit here the rest of the day and we'll come back this evening and uh, let our Freon in. I got some of this tin on, which is basically soapy water that once we let our Freon in, we'll be checking our fittings with. So anyway, guys, I'll get back with you in a few hours. I'll check this once in a while. If I see pressure dropping, we'll come back and see what we can do. But as of right now, she looks like she's holding steady. Okay guys, we've been setting several wires. The gauge has not moved at all, so I'm gonna open up my line set and uh, let this free on in. So I'm gonna open the top one first. Got my bit here, you just wanna turn these out until they're out all the way. I can hear the free on going into our system. It's all the way out. Now we're going to open our other side. That one was tight. Definitely tight. Now, we're going to remove our valve here and we are going to lose a little bit of freon when we take this loose so so you want to do it as quickly as you can so you don't lose any more than necessary might be easier to take this one off first I don't know if that will let's not take a chance let's just get it off here line tightened up on me all right so now we're going to replace our caps get them snug down I hope I didn't lose more free on than I, than I should have it's kind of slow in getting that off we're just going to snug those down then we're going to check for leaks here Put me a little more Dawn dish soap in this water here. This uh, mixture I have made up, so we have some soapy water. We're going to check this, check right here for leaks, and see if we have any. If we can see any leaks? pause you a minute and then we'll go up here and take our cap off up top and uh, we're gonna check our junction up there make sure we have no leaks up there and uh, if we don't I think we can uh, flip this thing on and call it good try it out now I'm gonna go up top there and I'm gonna take apart that little bit of uh, I knew I'd have to do this take apart that little bit of trim cover over here because this is where our our uh, connection comes out of the wall so we'll want to check this one too just make sure we ain't got no leaks this shouldn't be too hard to do press this 
in, take that apart, feel for our connections, and right there they are. I'm going to I'm going to take my Odin Wolf little W Mini right here. And we're going to cut this. Uh, it's going to be covered with that trim, so it ain't going to hurt that uh, this is cut a little bit. I do want to check for leaks there. I don't want to take a chance on that. I thought that was the. There they are. There's our connection there. We'll feel for this one. Should be right around here too. I think one of them might have been a little. Oh, it's up here. So we got a connection up here. We'll come up a little higher and check this one. So it's right there. So let's get us some soapy water and spray on these and see. Make sure we don't have any leaks. I tightened these, but I didn't over tighten, so. I see nothing there, it looks like a leak. Nothing there, it looks like a leak, so. Guys, I think we are good to start this unit up. I'm just going to reinstall my trim piece here real quick. Might be a little easier said than done. sticking out of there. Let's have that. Put this on there to keep it nice and neat looking. There we go. Put our trim piece back on. I've already installed my disconnect over there. So all we got to do is go inside and throw our breaker. and hopefully everything works. I'll recheck that connection again here in a little bit and uh, let's go in and throw the breaker. See what happens. All right guys, we got the mini split finally installed. Whew, it's been an all day thing. It is uh, four o'clock. So I just got this started. I actually had the wrong breaker had to go back I got it all installed and turned on the power and I had the wrong breaker for it so I had to go back and get the right breaker uh, the breaker I initially bought was this 15 amp it's a double pole but it's only one leg so when I talked to my electrician friend he said, there's probably your problem. You're not picking up the leg off the other uh, side of your bus bar. So I went to Lowe's and spent another 20 bucks to get the proper. So anyway, what I was stuttering to say was got the right breaker for it. It was a 15 amp double pole interlocked. So I took up two uh, spaces, one on each side of the bus bar stupid rookie mistake there she is guys you can hear how quiet that is 
she is really quiet. We'll go out and look at the outdoor unit and we'll show you how quiet that is. So there's our outdoor unit and I can, it is very, very quiet. Very quiet. Checked all my lines for leaks. Everything's good. Everything's buttoned up. And uh, I just got to clean up my mess now here and, and uh, go cool off. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, that's the Zocop uh, mini split. Uh, bought off Walmart. Uh, just we're at $500, 12,000 BTU, 220, 19 sear. So it should be fairly efficient. Inverter technology, whatever that is. Super quiet. A lot quieter than them uh, window units. And uh, our little vacuum pump, I forgot what it was called, but I'll leave it in here too, and I'll leave a link to that uh, in the description. So if uh, you have an interest in doing something like this, or you know, you could make it a little side hustle, uh, pumping down these, uh, vacuuming out these mini splits and hooking them up. Anyway, guys, appreciate it. Until next video, we'll see you guys later.